Okay, I hope I'm audible to all students who are attending this lecture of statistical methods for economics. We continue with our practice problems in this lecture on the module descriptive statistics. So this is a practice lecture where we are going to solve a couple of problems on descriptive statistics. In my previous lecture, when we were solving problems for this module, we had looked at problems on arithmetic mean. Now, in this particular lecture, we intend to look at numerical problems on median. Numerical problems on median. So, students can write this heading, numerical problems on median. And let's look at a few numerical problems. So, question number one. Find the median given the following data. Find the median given the following data. Okay. So, we are given some individual observations. 8, 20, 50, 25, 15, and 30. These are some individual observations. So, first of all, whenever numericals come regarding mean, median, mode, or dispersion, students should first be able to identify what kind of a data set is this. So, what kind of a data set is this? These, this is raw data set, or I can say individual observations. There are three kinds of data sets we have done in our lectures. Individual observations, or I can say raw data. Then we have discrete frequency distributions. And then we have continuous distributions, class intervals. So if you look at this data given to us, it's, it's uh, individual observations, raw data. How do I find the median? Remember, step one, arrange this data in ascending order. So first of all, I can say that let x denote these observations where x is the random variable. x is the variable in this case. Okay. Uh, not the random variable. It's just the variable in this case. There's no probability distribution attached to it. So this is my variable x. It's taking these values. Okay. Now, first arrange the data in ascending order. So if I arrange the data in ascending order, I start with the lowest value 8. Then it's 15. Then it's 20. Then we have 25, then we have 30, then we have 50. Now, what is my median? Median, which is x tilde, is the size of n plus 1 by 2th item. Now, what is n? Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can say n is 6. There are six observations. So x tilde, which is my median, is the size of 6 plus 1 by 2th item, which I can write as size of 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 by 2 is 3.5. So 3.5th item. How can I write 3.5th item size of the third item plus size of the fourth item divided by 2? Now, what's the third item, guys? The third item is 20. The fourth item is 25. You can now do the math yourself. We get 45 by 2, which is 22.5. This is my answer for the median. So, I hope all students attending this lecture have understood this numerical. Let's look at this, the second numerical. So, again, obtain the median for the following frequency distribution. Obtain the median for the following frequency distribution. We are given the random variable x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we are also given the frequency. So it's a discrete frequency distribution. That's the type of data set we have. 8, 10, 11, 16, 20, 25, 15, 9, 6. 
you can see the data is already in ascending order. If you look at the variable x, it's already in ascending order starting from the lowest one to the highest line. Now, how do I find or work out the median for this? So step one, whenever, remember, whenever you have discrete frequency distribution, you calculate cumulative frequencies. So the step one is to calculate the cumulative frequency CF. We know how to calculate cumulative frequency 8. 8 plus 10, 18. 18 plus 11, plus 6, 120. Even if you sum up all the frequencies, the sum of the sum of all the frequencies is 120, which is my total number of observations. So once we have calculated this step to apply the formula, median, which is x tilde, is equal to size of n plus 1 by 2th item. So this is going to be size of n is 120 plus 1 by 2 with item, which is the size of 121 by 2 with item. Okay, now 121 by 2 is how much? Size of, size of 60.5 item. Size of 60.5 item. Now guys, check out the cumulative frequency column. Where does 60.5 lie? 60.5 lies between this value and this value. So the median is 5. Okay. 60.5 item is going to lie between 45 and 65 in terms of the cumulative frequency. I think we always take the latter one. It's closer to 65. So in this particular case, the median is, I can write. So step 3 is the final answer. Median, which is x tilde, is equal to 5. That is my answer. So in case of a discrete frequency distribution, all you have to do is find cumulative frequencies, apply the formula, check where it's appearing in the cumulative frequency, always choose the latter one. That corresponding to that cumulative frequency, the value of x is the median. The median is 5. Okay. And now let's look at another uh, practice question. Question number three. So now we are having a continuous frequency distribution. Find the median wage. Find the median wage of the following distribution. Find the median wage of the following distribution. So we are given wages. Wages are in rupees. And we are given number of laborers. So we are given 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70. Okay. And the number of laborers we are given are 3, 5, 20, 10, and 5. Okay. So again, we don't need to arrange the data in ascending order. Starting from 20, we are going till 70, which is the maximum. It's already arranged. We don't need to work on that. Okay. So step one, to find the median, step one, again, find cumulative frequencies. Find the cumulative frequency. So CF, number of laborers is my F. Can I find CF column? Three. Plus 5, 8, plus 20, 28, plus 10, 38, plus 5, 43. Step 2, I need to find out in which class will median lie. Find the median class, not the median. I am finding in which class interval will the median lie. Find the median class, which is the size of n by 2th item. 
Now, what is N? N itself is 43. I have been using small n, so let me use small n only. Size of n by 2 is size. Not n plus 1 by 2. Remember, in continuous frequency distributions, when you are finding the median class, it's size of n by 2 is size. So, which is the size of n is 43. 43 by 2 with item, which is the size of, how much is 43 by 2, guys? Okay. 43 divided by 2 is 21 points. Size of 21.5 item. Where will 21.5 lie? 21.5 in cumulative frequency lies between 8 and 28. So my median class is the latter one, which is 40 to 50. So I can say, therefore, the median class in which the median is going to lie is 40 to 50. And step number three, we apply the formula. What's the formula for calculating the median for continuous class intervals? X tilde, which is my median, is L1 plus N by 2 minus CF upon F times I. Where we all know, where I'm writing it here, guys. Um, let me manage some space. So I'm writing it here. Where L1 denotes lower limit of the median class. N is the sum of all frequencies, which is the total number of observations. Total number of observations. CF is the cumulative frequency of the class. Cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. F is the frequency of the median class. I'm writing it here. F is frequency of the median class. And I is L2 minus L1. The upper limit minus the lower limit. So I can write it here. I itself is L2 minus L1. Upper limit minus the lower limit, which is 10 in each of the cases. Now I just have to apply this formula. So if I raise this part off. Step 3. Median is equal to, what is the lower limit of the median class? 40. Plus, what is N by 2, guys? N by 2 is, N by 2 automatically came out as 21.5. We had found this out. Cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Now, 40 to 50 is the median class. The class preceding it is 30 to 40. What's the cumulative frequency of 30 to 40? 8. Four, minus 8. Over F is the frequency of the median class. What is the frequency of the median class? 20. Frequency of the median class is 20. Divide by 20 times I. What is I? 30 minus 20. Upper limit minus the lower limit, which is 10. Now use your calculators. You are allowed to use simple calculators. And you can check out that the answer in this case comes out as 46.75 rupees. Uh, since we are dealing with rupees, wages are in rupees. Your answer will be in terms of rupees. X tilde is 46.75 rupees. Okay, so I hope that all students who are attending this lecture have understood um, how we have got the solution to this particular question. Okay, and now let me do one last question for practice for median question number four. Okay, so an incomplete frequency distribution is given as follows. An incomplete frequency distribution is given as, so I'm give, we are given the variable. We are given that the variable is as follows, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80. And we are given the frequencies, which are 12, 30, 
we have a dash. I need to find the value of this 65. Again, there's a dash 25 and 80. And we are given that the total, the total frequency we are given in the question is 229. And we are given that, we are also given that the median, which is the variable, let's denote the variable by x for simplicity. The median x tilde is given to us as 46. Find F1 and F2. The missing frequencies, let the, let the missing frequencies be F1 and F2. We need to find the values of F1 and F2. So, first of all, uh, the sum of all this should be 229. So, I can say, if I look at the solution, so 12 plus 30, 12 plus 30 plus F1 plus 65 plus F2 plus 28 plus 18. That means the sum of all this should come out as 229. Use your calculators and verify that when you solve this, you get F1 plus F2 as 79. Basically, take everything to the right hand side except F1 and F2. Solve, you get F1 plus F2 as 79. So that means my first equation, which I need to solve is... F1 plus F2 is equal to 79. That's equation number one. Now we are going to calculate something called cumulative frequencies. How do I find the cumulative frequencies? 12, 12 plus 30. We are going to say, repeat the same process. Remember, what's the formula for median? Median is L1 plus N by 2 minus CF upon F into I. But before that, we are going to find the median class. Median class is what? Size of N by 2 with item. Size of N by 2 with item. So how do I find that? 12 plus 30, 42. Okay. Um, Okay, actually, we don't need to find that, guys. We're already given the median. What is the median? 46. So what is the median class? 46 lies between 40 to 50. So we don't need to actually work out the cumulative frequency. So we don't need this. We are already given the median class. The median is 46. That means the median class is 40 to 50. This is my median class. Because 46 lies between 40 and 50. So my median is 46, lower limit 40, n by 2, which means 22, 229 divided by 2. Minus CF is F1. Remember, cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. The median class is 40 to 50. That means the class preceding it is 30 to 40. The frequency of that will be how much? Okay, now we need to calculate cumulative frequency. So 12 plus 30, 42, 40 plus, 42 plus F1. So 12, 12 plus 30, 42, 42 plus F1. So this is 42 plus F1. This is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class divided by frequency of the median class, 65. And there's lack of space, guys, but this whole term will be multiplied by I. I is 20 minus 10, which is 10. So basically, I have 46 is equal to 40 plus 229 by 2, which is 114.5 minus, I open up the bracket, 42 minus F1 or 65 times 10. Now again, students can use their calculators. I mean, 46 minus 40 is 6 times 114 minus 5. How much is 114.5 minus 42? Let's work out that. 114.5 minus 42 is 72.5 minus F1 or 65 4 times 10. So 6 into 65 is 390. 390 divided by 10. Just I am just shifting the term, doing the algebra. I get 39 is equal to 72.5 minus F1. So if I erase the initial part, 
or if I erase this particular part at the bottom, what is my F1? F1 is equal to 72.5 minus 39. Comes out as 33.5. So F1 is 33.5. Can I calculate F2? Remember from the top, F1 plus F2 should be 79. F1 plus F2 should be 79. So F2 is 79 minus F1. F1 we already found out 33.5. Therefore, use your calculator and check out that F2 is 79 minus 33.5, which is 45. So these are the answers for this particular problem. F1 is 33.5 and F2 is 45.5. Okay, so hoping all students have understood this. If suppose in the question they mentioned that the frequency cannot be a fraction, in that case, you can take F1 as 34 and F2 as 45. Okay, but this is the actual or the true answer. Okay, but frequency cannot, we cannot expect the frequency to be negative, uh, to be in fractions. So uh, I can say that, uh, I can take instead of 33.5, I can round it off to 34, say. And 40, uh, 45.5, I can just write it as 45. Okay, so this is my answer. If I assume that the frequencies cannot be in fractions. So I stop in this particular lecture. The objective was to cover um, a few practice problems on finding the median, okay. In the next lecture, in the next practice lecture on descriptive statistics, we look at a couple of problems on finding the mode. So I stop in this lecture. I hope all students have enjoyed this lecture. Any doubt, you can mail at divineschooloveconomics at the rate gmail.com. This is where I stop in this lecture.